What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Sierra Shante. Miss Shante, I guess. But, um, this will be a story time video. Just wanted to basically test my camera phone. See if I can use this for you guys, too, when I'm gonna go. Um, so, growing up, I kind of, like, I dealt with bullies. Bullies, 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 bullies. I kind of consider myself the ugly duckling story. Like, big old bifocal, skinny, um, just, my friend Chelda from childhood would say unpleasant to look at. <laughs> she didn't like to call people ugly. She said unpleasant to look at. But as a kid, I grew up, you know, African-American children hair is a big deal so growing up I didn't have much of it not at all um, my mother tried to do my hair as she would and like just screwed me up from day one like it's just a mess like she put these multicolored rubber bands in my hair Lord I didn't have hair and if you're a hair professional I'm not but you know rubber bands are not good. They break off the child's hair. I don't know. I don't know. I wish I had pictures from back then because I there was an age, a point in time where I found every ugly picture or every picture I felt was unpleasant to look at. And I ripped it up or burnt it up, destroyed it. Just wanted no proof that that girl existed. And it's a big deal because I would have to go to school and people pick on me like call me all types of names um and and I can't believe I'm telling y'all this story but a hey, I'm, I'm a grown woman right now so yes um I was picked on and called high top fade now let me tell you why high top fade you know back then was when like I guess the this part was shaved and a guy had a high top and like all that was shaved like see like I don't have much edges they are very fine and when I had my natural hair it was just yeah. but back in middle school my mom would get me plaits um, box braids I think that's box braids box braids plaits not braids going back, plaits. I said it right, plaits. Not cornrows, plaits. But because my perimeter was basically like gone and they were the micros. Back then they were called micros. They pop, 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 just pop them all up, pop them all up. So growing up, never had the most hair. I had cousins who had thick hair. It's just a hit and miss in my family. They gonna have thin, fine hair that does not grow past nothing or you are going to have a thick, coarse grade of hair, and I got the thin hair, and then, yeah, so I got picked on. Boys called me high top fade. Um, girls, like, that was just being mean would just pick on me, called me bald headed and whatever, and that had a big impact on me. I never wanted to show my hair. I mean, I started wearing a headband like around my braids or plaits, whatever hairstyle I had, I would have this black headband that covered my head just because I just hate being picked on. And when, if you rode the school bus, oh my goodness, I don't know how to rank. That's what they would call it, ranking on you. I'm not a ranker. I don't, I'm not good with the comebacks. I'm not quick. Why? Why does it always seem like <laughs> it just, I would get on the bus and just hide like in a seat and hope that they wouldn't notice me because these bullies on my bus would always have a ranking session. They just want you to rank everybody snapping on each other and just saying the worst stuff. And I just, my comeback was so or anyway. <laughs> Something like that because I did not know what to say to what do you say to a bully when you are a girl and they pick on you constantly and all you want to do is cry like cry 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 but my mom wasn't having that like she 
she didn't raise any wimps so it's not like I would go to my mom and say I'm in school I'm being bullied like I never told my parents I never told my parents I was being bullied I kept that to myself I would tell my cousins but they never went to the same school as me so it's not like they would have my back like they would like my cousins don't play so um as life went on I never wanted to show my real hair always had an issue when it came to my hair spent the most money on hair weaves anything because I was just hating the fact that I didn't have what society would say was beautiful hair that and the fact that I got picked up growing up and then I don't know what age it was where I started to just I don't know maybe if I, I, I found the right hairstyle or what but I think I want to say it was when I might have gotten my first shortcut and I started um, like I, I felt different like um, shortcuts you know they manipulate your hair and even if it is thin it looks thicker and I guess I found the right hairstyle fast forward again that was like before going to college so a little bit of um, a little bit of confidence it was a confidence booster to get that hairstyle to start sort of modeling like um, I took some professional photos and I uh, just felt really good about myself like I still have those pictures and I felt really good about myself going off to college after that my confidence was boosted up even more. I joined a modeling troupe in my, on my college campus. I went to an all black, I mean, black Jesus. I went to an all girls school at HBCU um, in North Carolina. Um, and being around those women, those girls, like we, it was a sisterhood. It was truly a sisterhood. And being a part of that modeling troupe just pushed my confidence even more. So much to the fact when I came back home, I wasn't stuck on hair weaves and things like that you know I had developed or found who I was without the weave because on my campus so many girls and I guess it's a southern thing um North Carolina thing what what have you those girls wear their natural hair they go to the hair salon to go get curls like I don't mean this have a facial expression like that but when you're from South Florida when you are from this area and so many people are so vain about how they look they want to be the next video fixins they want to be supermodels they want to be actresses there there's a lot of that going down here nothing is like uh, it's almost very rare to see somebody who is truly themselves here and going to that hbcu it was like pfft, excuse me i don't need any of that i am all that and then some so hmm. but you move into a different situation um, and a life changes and things happen and you know not modeling not acting not doing any of the things that help build up my confidence I guess I started to slide back into the vanity of the hair weaving world and not really loving what was mine so I started to get that whole when the Brazilian epidemic hit <coughs> Brazilian hair I'm getting that I'm getting that yes flowing yes like all of that <laughs> there's nothing wrong with a good hair weave don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with one but I find honestly that I was spending more money than I was making I wasn't saving up anything and it just it was too much to deal with. All these different types of weave, the glues, the sew-ins. Like my last sew-in, when I told myself, that's it, I had enough, that's it, I'm never doing this again. She sewed my hair that grew. Um, my edges still was were busted. I'm just accepting that fact. I will never have luscious long locks up here. This perimeter will always be thin, but I don't care anymore I mean I don't care about that because I found that I'm more beautiful with what God gave me than adding on to it it works for me 
Now, some people may try a shortcut and it may not work for them. Or they may try natural, which I have. I tried natural and boo-boo, it was not for me. Uh, it was breaking off words. Everybody here is not meant to be natural. I'm not against the creamy crack, but everybody's not meant to be natural. So, yes. Growing into the woman that I am today, I have realized that I wasted so much money on weave when God gave me what he gave me and I am beautiful with what he gave me so I am going to keep rocking with what he gave me it may not be long and luscious but my man loves it I love how I look and I'm happy now and it took years to understand that I'm perfect I'm perfect just the way I am I don't need to add anything to me even this makeup makeup is to enhance your beauty I just got into makeup maybe last year just got into it so I mean like the whole contour and highlighting and everything I'm learning I'm learning I'm not I don't do this every day I will go to work with foundation on it that is it okay eyebrows don't need to be mm -mm, I that's not me but I'm not gonna lie, it does look good to be beat every now and now, now and then. It does feel good to be beat. But all this just to say, love yourself, love yourself. Trust me, loving yourself is the best thing you can do for yourself. Do not look at the next person and say, well, she's this and she's that, or he's this and he's that. Love yourself, truly, please. Because if you don't love you, how do you expect somebody else to love you? You know, and. How you gonna be a light to the world? You know, if you're around here hiding behind other things that are not you, be a light, be a light. We are called to be a light. So do that, be that. Um, but yeah, oh, and just like when I said that ugly duckly, duckling, um, like that was my life, I promise you that was my life. The same people who picked on me growing up are the same people who trying to give a number, trying to talk to me if they see me nowadays. Like, it's not happening. No. Mm-mm. But yeah, that was my story time. So, love yourself, people, and continue to stay blessed. Bye.